The question says a capillary tube of radius r is immersed in water and water rises in it to a height h. The mass of the water in the capillary is 5 gram. Another capillary tube of radius 2r is immersed in water. The mass of the water that will rise in this tube. Now guys, you need to understand this. That in this scenario, the height is always inversely proportional to the radius. Which means the amount of height which rises in the capillary is inversely proportional to the radius of that capillary. That means more than radius, less will be the height rising. Correct? Right? So in that scenario, H1 is H, H2 is unknown, R1 is R, R2 is 2R. That gives you the value of H2 as H by 2. Now here they have not asked us the height, they have asked us the mass. Now how can we relate mass with height? We can say mass is volume into density and for the capillary which is cylindrical, I can say the volume is going to be pi r square h and density as 0. So definitely we can say the mass in first case upon the mass in second case is pi r 1 square h 1 rho upon pi r 2 square h 2 rho. Definitely the rate density is going to remain the same of what? So pi and rho gets cancelled. We get r1 by r2 dot whole square into h1 by h2 as m1 by m2. So now if we substitute the value, m1 is 5 gram, m2 is unknown, r1 is r1 and r2 is 2r1 dot whole square. h1 is h1, h2 we get it as h1 is h, so h2 is h by 2. So H gets cancelled, R1 gets cancelled. So we get this as 5 gram upon M2 as 1 by 4 into 2, which is 1 by 2. And so our final answer M2 is 5 into 2, that is 10 gram.